I have just returned from Manipur. I had been there with a team of the All India Democratic Women's Association with our President B.K. Srimati and General Secretary Mariam Dhavle. And we met a large number of victims. Many women were victims of sexual assault. And the reason why I am speaking to you today is because the victims have asked us to expressly tell the women of India and the people of India about their grief, their suffering and their despair. And that is why I am speaking to you today. We met the women in the video which has outraged all of you. But their question is, does India care? So many days have passed. But they know that they have not got justice. You know the facts, so I am not repeating the facts. But what we learnt from them, that young woman and her neighbour, they were in the police jeep. They were actually in the custody of the police. And they were told by the driver that he doesn't have the key and therefore he cannot drive the car away. And they were literally handed over to the mob. And that young woman, her brother, a young boy, he was in a hostel earlier, he was just 17 I think, 16 or 17 years old. He clung to his sister, he tried to protect her. And they snatched him away from her. She was stripped, she was paraded and before her eyes they killed her brother. They killed her father. She saw it happening. And then as you know she was dragged away and gang raped. And then when ultimately she got to safety she wants you all to know. She couldn't speak about what happened to her for days because she did not want to burden her mother who was grieving for the loss of her son, the loss of her husband. And therefore, for days, this victim of such brutality and barbaric, inhumane behaviour could not speak about it. And today she is so deeply traumatised. They despair because there is no justice. No justice. The police in their first report did not even acknowledge that such an incident had taken place. They said just the village is burnt. There's vandalism. They did not even mention it. The older woman who had been stripped, she said what we faced, we faced. But where is the justice? And if we don't speak out today, who will? When she said we, she meant we the women. We, the citizens of India, tomorrow it will happen to any woman, is what she said. And this was a targeted crime. They said this was targeted because we are tribals, because we belong to a particular Kuki Zomi community. We are targeted because of that. We are citizens of India, and yet. This is what we faced, this is the punishment we faced and our bodies were used for that politics. 
Their fight is for justice. And they despair that with the partisanship which has been shown by the state government and the central government, they are being denied even the minimum justice. The mother says she has not seen the bodies of her husband, her son. Her son was away for three months before this happened, so she has not seen him at all. She grieves. She longs to at least see their bodies, but even that is not possible because of the divide which has been created. This is the reality of Manipur. A 15-year-old girl in another case who was dragged, who was taken away by four men in uniform belonging to extremist groups. She was raped, gang raped, 15-year-old girl and she was thrown down a cliff she survived, but the perpetrators of that crime have not been arrested. We met the father of Florence, we met the mother of Olivia, two young women who were working in a car wash. She had spoken to her mother just a few hours before and said, we are not safe but the car owner has promised to take us to safety. But the mother says he did not do so. He has not even helped in the investigation. There were so many employees there, many of them close friends with these young women who were sexually assaulted and brutally killed. But there is no justice for them. And they believe the families believe that as long as this government remains, the chief minister remains, they are the barriers to justice. They want me to speak to you, not on their behalf, because when they can speak, they will. There's no internet now in Manipur. They can't convey all this to you. They are being supported by women's organizations in Manipur. And I salute those organizations. And I appeal to all of you to even more strongly raise your voice for justice.